Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to my Tuesday night live video. My name is Melissa Faust from stampwithmelissa.com. Welcome, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, live or replay. I am so happy that you're here. Please leave a comment. Let me know that you're watching. Say hi. Um, I saw Eva was on very early, about 20 minutes before the live started. So hi, Eva. Welcome um, from Prince Edward Island. So that's awesome. Paula from Rainy, Ohio. You know, rain is my like my favorite weather. <laughs> um, I don't know if you uh, if you relate to that. My eye is crying. I'm not actually crying, but my eye is tearing up. What the heck? <laughs> um, hi, Mom. Welcome. Um, so welcome, everybody. So today is Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023. It is 5 p.m. Central Time, which is my local time. And we are live at 5 for tonight's super fun card class. So welcome. Hey, Keisha. Um, today is a super duper exciting day. Hi, Lori. Uh, because it's a new catalog day. And who doesn't love that? So I don't know about you, but I woke up an hour early. I set my alarm an hour earlier than normal. <laughs> uh, woke up, got my order in, my own order, and then also my annual catalog party box order in. Hey, Alicia. Um, I got those two orders in, and I still had like 20 minutes to lay in bed. And so uh, I, I couldn't quite fall back asleep. I was too excited, but it was nice to lay in bed for an extra 20 minutes. That was awesome. So, <laughs> um, so we are going to play with a new bundle today. Are you surprised? No, right? New bundle, new colors, new DSP, new... No, we're not using new embellishments tonight, but we're using lots of new stuff. New ribbon. Yes, Robin, you beat me by about an hour, <laughs> but I know you're East Coast, so we actually kind of ordered at the same time. So anyway, um, all right, so let's go ahead. Oh, somebody gave me an angry face. <laughs> well, sorry, maybe you're mad because I didn't get to sleep in. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and flip my camera down and let's go ahead and uh, talk about this week's class, today's live video. So new annual catalog. Uh, we are starting with our beautiful, cheerful daisies bundle. And I just had to show you, it is so pretty that it's actually the front cover. I know there's a little glare on here from my light, um, but it's so pretty. It's right here on the front cover, which is like so cute. And then we've got lots of new colors featured on our front cover, right? We've got Lemon Lolly, that's Lost Lagoon, Bubble Bath, Moody Mob. I don't know what these two colors are in the very corners, <laughs> um, but they're so pretty. So let's flip to pages 110 and 111, and you can see this beautiful Fresh as a Daisy suite. Um, gorgeous. Demonstrators got to pre-order this, and it's quickly become, like, one of my favorite of all time. Now, I know that, like, there's lots of flower sets, right? Like, lots of flower sets. I get it. But daisies are my favorite. So I am in love with this set. Um, we are going to make some cards today. Wow, I can't talk. <laughs> we are going to make some cards today using this beautiful, beautiful suite. And look, I can open my catalog for you now. Um, hello, Deborah. Um, I don't know if anybody else is watching from Kansas City, but you can let Deborah know if you are. <laughs> um, anyway, we are going to create with this beautiful suite today. And I got to open my catalog on camera for you, which is really super duper exciting. And so let me show you the bundle first. So it is a photopolymer bundle. We've got lots of the different flower shapes. Okay, there's a dog hair. I got a story about that that I'll tell you later, but <laughs> I'm going to find dog hair everywhere. Um, anyway, we've got some beautiful sentiments in here as well. So let me open it up. It is photopolymer. You can see for these three cards, we're using every single stamp except this little three cluster flower. And then we're not using this one that says your friendship means everything. Although you could very easily swap out one of your sentiments for that. Okay, we're using three different. Th there's four sentiments. We're using three of them, you know. Um, and then we are going to do some die cutting during the live today. So I'm just going to set that off to the side. And I have so many cards to share with you. Oh, here they are. I was like, but where did I put them? <laughs> I have so much out on my desk because there are so many stamps um, that I don't know where everything is. <laughs> hey, Kathleen. Yes, Alicia loves this suite too. So this is a car the card that I shared yesterday on my blog um, where I just stamped that cute daisy in crushed curry. So we're going to do a little bit of this tonight, but I, for that inside filler image, I stamped it off and then the outside like outline is full strength. Okay. So that's where I kind of get that difference, that depth in there. Um, and then I've got some pebbled path, which is our new, one of our new ink colors. And then also that sweet sentiment. And this is actually, oh, sorry. Um, I was out of camera. I don't know why lately. I feel like my camera is more zoomed in. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so I apologize if I go out of screen, but 
uh, this is a card I created for a demonstrator card swap. Um, and I do actually have some fun cards to share with you that I got back in that swap using this set. So that is the card I shared yesterday. This is a beautiful card I shared today using Boho Blue. Now, most of the cards that I've made with the set have focused on that Moody Mob, Pebbled Path kind of scheme. So this one just like takes my breath away every time, every time I see it. It's like, um, oh good, the card is still on the camera. Okay, thanks, Deborah. Um, I just looked up and I saw it like this and I was like, uh oh. <laughs> um, anyway, but I, you know, sometimes you make cards and it's like your favorite and you just have the hardest time sending it. This is probably going to be that card for me. Um, this piece here of DSP was actually extra from some other cards I was making. And I was like, oh, I just want to use that on a card. I wonder what kind of layout. And this, uh, this layout is actually from Club last month. So I was kind of like, well, that's perfect, right? <laughs> um, yes, Kathleen loves this bundle too. I know it's so beautiful. And then literally all I did was stamp that sentiment. That's it. There's no other stamping done on this card, which is pretty awesome. And I just love it. I love the blues. Okay. So let me show you then my swap cards. Okay. So I'm going to read quick on the back. This one is from Mary Ann Grimer. Beautiful. Feel free to screenshot um, these swap cards too. So she's got a birthday card here using that lemon lolly, early espresso, wild wheat, which is one of our new colors. So she went a totally different color scheme here too, which I just love. So that's very pretty. And then she offset the lemon lolly with the basic white to give you a little bit of that shadowing too on those daisies. So beautiful. This next one is from Betty Wisebrick. I don't know if I said that right, but this one is super duper pretty as well. And then this one, let me show you. Um, some people put their addresses on the back, which is why I don't show those on the camera, but let me just show you this. It opens like this. So then she's got that little label in here that's covered by this boho blue one. So you can actually write on that little piece. And then you've got that um, ex exposed embossing folder. <laughs> I can't talk today, you guys. <laughs> and this last one is from Candy Rattray. And this one, she followed my color scheme, right? But she used very vanilla instead of basic white. So it's very pretty. It looks very um, autumn-y, fall-y when you use that very vanilla and then um, sparkles. Oh, you can't see it, but she's got some Wink of Stella on there. And then she used these two stamps, which are the only two stamps we're not using today. Uh, so look, you saw them. <laughs> um, and she totally did flipped this, right? I've been stamping mine in Moody Mob and then the middle in Crushed Curry and she flipped it. She did Crushed Curry on the outside and Moody Mob on the inside because daisies can be any color, okay? All right, and then I'm real quick gonna show you um, this bundle is also my featured bundle for Club Create this month, which you can subscribe to through May 20th. Um, I did put a video out on YouTube maybe two-ish weeks ago now talking all about Club and I did sneak peek them already, but I'm gonna sneak peek them again for you. So this is um, one of them. So you make four cards, two each of four designs. So you, so you actually get to make eight. Um, and then you uh, get to get lots of fun product to keep creating. And they're just beautiful. And I would love to have you join my club. If you're interested in that, head to club.stampwithmelissa.com. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, that is nice. Deborah said she liked the Boho Blue one too, because blue's her favorite. Well, Moody Mob is my favorite of the new colors. Maybe I'll just say of the new ink colors, although it might be like my number one across the board right now. <laughs> uh, so I guess that's why I had to just go crazy with it, right? Okay, so let me show you the three cards we're going to make today. If that wasn't enough inspiration, yeah, you can make even more with this awesome bundle. So we're going to make these three cards today, which these ones are part of my Cheerful Daisies class to go this week. So when you place an order in my online store this week through Friday, May 5th, you can get these card kits for free. So a $35 order before tax and shipping will get supplies to make two of each of these cards. So you'll get to make six or a $50 order will also get a pack. You'll get those six and then you'll also get a pack of these beautiful iridescent pearls, which just look really nice. Um, and I did not use the pearls on this very first card that we're going to do uh, today, but you very easily could add them in. Like I don't know. They can go literally anywhere. <laughs> they match so well. So these three, you can see all kind of follow a color scheme, right? Um, like I said, you can tell Moody Mob has been my favorite. So let's go ahead and get started with these. By the way, when you do purchase that class to go um, or purchase in my online store, um, can Moody go with bubble bath? Okay, Lori, I'll come back to that in just a second. 
Uh, yes. <laughs> um, but when you do place the order in my online store through Friday, you can order whatever you want. So you can feel free to order the supplies that we're using tonight that you don't already own. You can order anything else on your wish list. Today, the new annual catalog went live. So I'm sure your wish list is miles long. <laughs> I know mine was. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let me know if you have any questions other than that. Um, Lori, this is bubble bath right here. Doesn't that look purple when it's next to that moody mauve? But this is bubble bath with moody mauve. So I'm going to say, uh, yeah, it definitely goes together. <laughs> okay. So let's start with card number one, which is this one. I'm going to just leave it up in the corner there for us to, you know, use as a guide. If you're new to my videos, I like to keep it in the corner. So we kind of have a roadmap of where we're going, right? Um, so we know what to expect. Okay, so here's what will come in this card kit. You'll have a pebbled path card base. You will have a piece of the Fresh as a Daisy designer series paper. Um, and I will have this cut for you. So beautiful pebbled path. Um, doesn't it go together so nice? It just, it looks so purple when they're next to each other, but oh, it's so pretty. Uh, you'll have a layer of crushed curry, a layer of basic white. We are going to stamp on this piece. You'll have some extra basic white, which we are going to stamp and die cut our flowers and our sentiment. This label sentiment is actually in the bundle. And then you'll also have a little piece of that pebbled path ribbon. Okay. And you'll have supplies to make two of each of these cards. So let's start with this basic white rectangle. Um, and then we're going to grab our messy scrap paper. You can see this is my daisies. <laughs> um, I'm going to grab the stem and the leaf and pebbled path ink. Okay, and we are going to stamp three stems first. So you can kind of stamp them wherever you want, but I know I'm pretty much going to have one in the middle. I'm going to have one on the left, which I might have go maybe a little lower on this card. Okay, so just putting them at, at varying lengths. And then I'm going to have one over on the right that's maybe like just a hair shorter than the one in the middle. Okay. Now, when you do place your daisies, you can change kind of where they go as well. Um, yeah, so Deborah, it is, I would say it's a brown. Um, I would say brown, but it is definitely kind of like a brown green. Yeah, you're right. It does. It, it looks like both, right? <laughs> um, I'm just going to stamp a couple of these leaves here as well. And there are these little like divots on the stems here. And I'm kind of lining up my leaves with those. Uh, yeah, great question. Um, you just kind of have to play with it to see. Uh, but yeah, it is, I guess it depends what colors you use it with, right? In the DSP, it looks gray. In the cardstock, it looks brown. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, that's probably very unhelpful. <laughs> um, hey, Heather, welcome. Oh, I'm so glad you love this bundle too. All right, you can just go to town with your leaves here, add them wherever you want, okay? And then we're going to close up that pebbled path. And we've got that beautiful piece there. So let's go ahead and do our um, pieces that will be die cut next, okay? So we are going to start with that Moody Mob pink. And I'm going to grab my outline images first because they're going to be in the darker color. I find them easier to line up when you do the darker before you do the lighter. Hey, Anne, no worries. We don't mind if you're late, just that you come. We love to see you here. Um, we'll do this. We're going to do all three of the flowers. So we've got that larger one, kind of that medium one. And then this one that kind of looks like a cone flower, which is beautiful. Now, this one is tricky. This cone flower, you can see there's that little half circle at the top. When you stamp the um, center of the flower, the die cut is going to go up a little. That's not usually what happens, right? You kind of expect like that that won't be the case. <laughs> um, so you just need to kind of lay it somewhere. I'm going to be risky. I'm going to go right here. My die or my pieces might be a little bit too close together to die cut, but we'll find that out shortly. Um, but you need to leave a little bit of room because when we bring that die in, you can see that it, it's going to go up a little, right? So these, uh, you'll see, we'll have to die cut a couple times for this first card. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go ahead and do our filler images then. Now I'm actually going to quick grab my foam mat to stick under here because these are solid photopolymer images. They just stamp better when they have a little cushion under them. So we'll ink this up in Moody Moth, stamp it off, and then we're going to go in, and my head might get in the camera, so I apologize for that. But we're going to go in and just get that lined up. 
Okay, do the best you can and push that down. Beautiful, look at that. I'm a little bit off, but it's okay. It's handmade, so it's it's okay. <laughs> do the same thing with that little, the little middle, the middle flower. Okay, oh, I was way off on that, way off on that one. Hmm. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> I was thinking about restamping it, but I think we'll leave it. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing with this little, I'm going to call it the cone flower. I know it's a daisy, but, and stamp that down. Now, if you can get your head right over it, it's a lot easier to line up. Um, I don't know. I might redo that one. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. Maybe we will, because there's a backside. So maybe we will. Okay, so we've got those stamped. Then we can grab our centers of our flowers and crushed curry ink and we'll go ahead and stamp the centers and you know what the centers don't line up like perfectly so just kind of put them wherever they look right to you okay and you know what we're gonna leave this one we're gonna roll with it <laughs> okay so there's our crushed curry centers and then we are going to do our sentiment in early espresso i wanted something that was a little bit of a darker brown um, yeah, so we're going to use early espresso here and I'm just going to maybe go, let's grab our little label die to see where it will lay. So it can fit like that slanted. So we're going to just stamp on the inside of that. And then we know we can die cut that, right? Perfect. Okay. So let's close this up and then we'll go ahead and die cut. So let me move these out of the way. I'm telling you, I have no desk space. <laughs> Okay, so we've got mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. I've got my cute metal bowl. Did you see my mystery craft box reveal the other day? If you got my legendary or my ready to ride mystery craft box, uh, you got a cute little bowl to put your dies in. And I thought that was so sweet. So I'm gonna use mine. Just get these guys all lined up. We'll do this cone flower one first, maybe. And we'll have to go back in to do that middle flower because like I said I just stamped them too close they won't die cut at the same time and then we can do this one and perfect set that down and I just push it and I don't move my plate so that it has to uh, or that it doesn't slide my dies does that make sense all right crank that through Okay, then we're gonna just, look at this. Look how nice this is. We're just gonna throw these in here and I'll clean them up later. <laughs> um, oh good, Alicia, Alicia did my mystery craft box. She said she loves her dye bowl. I'm so glad. <laughs> that was actually my friend Deborah's idea. She was like, oh, that would be so cute. You should do that. And I was like, oh my gosh, it would be so cute. So thanks to Deborah for that idea. Oops. Okay, so now we're going to do this little, the little middle flower. That's what I like to call him. Okay, run that through. And throw that in my bowl. And there we go. See, once it's die cut, it actually doesn't look too bad. It looks kind of cute. <laughs> okay, so we are going to do some more die cutting later. So I'm just going to set this off to the side and move my die bowl as well. And now let's start assembling. So we are going to grab... Let's start with our DSP. And we'll flip that over and use some seal. Okay, and then lay that flat onto our card front. Fold and burnish this. Okay, flip it around so we don't glue things upside down. Add some seal to the back of our basic white piece. Layer this onto the crushed curry. How pretty are these colors together too? Like this would be a beautiful card to send and receive right now, but it would also be so pretty for the fall. <laughs> these colors will go so nicely for so many different fall cards. All right, center that there. Then we're gonna go ahead and do our flowers. Now the flowers are kind of fun because we're gonna start with the big one and add some dimensionals. Okay, so let's go like that. That looks good enough to me. <laughs> oh, thanks, Anne. Yeah, Deborah, aren't they so pretty? Um, oh, funny, Lori just got some at Flea Farm. These ones, you guys, I went all the way to Harbor Freight and I took my dad with me so he could help me find them. 
<laughs> and uh, I think it, they were kind of confused when I was checking out because I look like I'm like 12 and, you know, my dad is older than that. <laughs> I won't say how old he is on camera because he's probably watching. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. So we are going to add some mini dimensionals here. And what I'm going to do is on this side, I'm going to double stack our dimensionals because I want this to sit one level higher than our middle. Okay. Dang it. I did it wrong. Hold on. Hold up. <laughs> I did this wrong in my reel too. If, when you see that later. Okay. There we go. So these, it doesn't matter which side you say is top or bottom, but I like using the, the smaller ones as the bottom. Okay. So on this side, right? The left-hand side, we need one dimensional. On the right-hand side, we need two stacked so that it will layer onto here, okay? And then just make sure it lines up with your stem, okay? Now, same kind of thing. I'm going to flip it this way. Maybe that will be easier for my brain today. <laughs> We're going to grab three mini dimensionals again. We're going to put one on the right and two stacked on the left, okay? peel off those backings and then we can stick this down again make sure you cover up that stem beautiful <laughs> we got it that time all right so now we've got this beautiful piece of the pebbled path ribbon by the way this comes in all five of our new in colors and i just added some seal down and then we're just going to stick that down okay now you might have to add a little bit more seal for your other loopy bit right <laughs> um Oh, thanks so much, Lori. That's so sweet of you. Um, okay, so now we've got our sentiment. I'm going to flip it this way again because my brain's working better that way today. <laughs> and we are going to put a dimensional on the this side, the right side. Okay, and then I'm going to use my minis again. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my minis and I'm going to go on the top and the bottom of my label just so I can kind of try to escape my ribbon, right? I don't want it on top of the ribbon. So then we can go ahead and tack that down and it might be on the ribbon like this one totally is um but it's just i don't know it's easier you could also lay the uh dimensionals directly on your card um, but just make sure your label will cover them okay all right so that is card number one isn't that one so beautiful i love it it is so 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 pretty i just love those daisies <laughs> all right so that's card number one Let's go on to card number two, which is our beautiful Moody Mob and Bubble Bath card. So this is the second card. And this one, you guys, might be my favorite. <laughs> uh, thanks, everyone. Uh, yeah, I think this one might be my favorite. It's got very minimal stamping. Okay, so let's take a look at this card kit, which is a Moody Mob card base, a Moody Mob layer a piece of that beautiful designer series paper again. So this is the, the front page that has all those different like hodgepodge designs that you could cut out. Um, this is the backside. So it's the same as our first card where we had that pedal or the pebbled path with the uh, cool like paintbrush effect. <laughs> uh, this time we have it in Moody Mob. Thank you so much, you guys, you're so kind. Um, and then you'll have a piece of, or a circle of bubble bath. This was die cut with the stylus shape size. It's the largest circle. Um, I know Deborah, right? She's yeah. Yeah. These colors are so pretty. You'll have a strip of bubble bath for your sentiment. And then I do not do die cutting for you featuring that, or I'm sorry, I do not do die cutting for you that uses the featured bundle. There we go. Um, so you, but I did do my die cutting ahead of time. So you will have a piece of basic white to die cut this out. Now this is just one die altogether. So super easy. And then you can decide if you want to poke out all the little holes or not. Uh, you can see I kind of stopped. <laughs> they were going everywhere. I got these ones out and then those ones I was like, whatever. <laughs> um, and then same thing here. You will also have a piece of early espresso to die cut out two of these leaves. Um, these are also in that featured bundle. Okay. Um, but I will give you the cardstock pieces so you can do the die cutting. So you have that cardstock. Okay. All right. So let's grab our early espresso ink pad and we're going to grab our sentiment that says you made my day ink that up and now my head is going to very much so get over this so i do apologize if i'm off camera but i am going to stamp that down 
Now, depending on how skinny you want your strip is where you'll stamp your sentiment. Okay. You can tell I want mine to be pretty skinny. Um, so I stamped it towards the centered, but then towards the bottom. Okay. Then I'm going to grab my paper trimmer here. And this is a half inch strip. So you can see how skinny the sentiment is. And I am going to shave off part of that. So this is about a quarter now, which I think is way too small to stamp on. <laughs> um, oh, I know, Eva. It's, it's yeah, my wish list keeps growing. <laughs> uh, so there's our cute little sentiment. Think of all the fun occasions you could send a card for that says you made my day. Like, how sweet is that? Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to start assembling. So I've got my Moody Mauve layer and my seal. I don't know why I flipped that over because it's the same on both sides. <laughs> Have it, I guess. Okay, so this piece, I am going to center on the card. Okay, so it's pretty center. I don't know how well you can see that layering, but it's centered. Then we'll grab our DSP, which is like not perfectly layered, okay? So don't let that drive you nuts. And I am going, so about the same amount or the same width on the, I'll show you when I glue it down top, left, and bottom. So it's probably about a quarter of an inch on each of those and sticking that down. Okay. So can you see? Yeah, there you go. You can see those layers there. So it's, it's kind of offset here and it peaks over this way. I love it. If you don't, if you want to layer it, absolutely go for it. But I love the offset look of that. So that's what I did. Okay. So we've got that. Then we're going to grab our um, circle here. And I'm just going to, let's see, how do we want to do this? Maybe I'll stick some seal down in the center, grab my leaves, and these guys are going to get stuck down first. So you can go ahead and place them wherever because, of course, you know, you can just twist your circle if you have to, okay? So I'm going to have one going down and one going up. And I am having them peek off the circle because I like how that looks. Then we are going to add this down and we're going to add this down with dimensionals. Okay. So you can kind of see this left-hand side over here gets cut off and then some of the right-hand side gets cut off and also like the leaves. So we're not going to put any dimensionals there. Okay. And many dimensionals are going to be your friend for this. <laughs> um, and we are just going to sticker the heck out of this dimensional, the heck out of your flowers. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I know, Alicia. Isn't that kind of fun? Um, I don't know how it came to me. My mind does not usually work in offsetting. And so it just came to me and I was like, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I don't know. We have five on there. We're going we're gonna to say that's okay. Um, and then peel off these backings. Okay. And then we'll stick this down onto our circle. Now I can see my seal is running straight across this way. And I want to try to not necessarily cover it because honestly, this piece is not going to do a great job of that. But when we put our sentiment down, our sentiment can cover it, right? So my sentiment is going to go over here, which is covering any other exposed seal. Now you can also um, die cut these out on adhesive sheets. Um, that would solve that problem as well. But this is what I'm going to do. Okay. And so what I'm thinking I'm going to do here is add my mini dimensionals and I'm probably just going to do two. So I'm not going all the way on the ends or completely in the center. I'm kind of splitting the difference there. Okay. So can you see that? So that's how I'm going to do that. And then stick that down over the top. And then that also kind of hides all those little circles I didn't punch out. <laughs> okay. So then we can flip this over. We can go back to our regular dimensionals here add some dimensionals on the back of this, and then we'll pop this onto our card, okay? So this one is super beautiful. And think of this, like you could sit in front of the TV and die cut like for an hour, right? Well, not even, you could die cut for like 10 minutes and you'd probably end up with like 20 of these and uh, you could make so many beautiful cards. So, um, oh yeah, you could do that too, Kathleen. That's a good idea. All right, so we've got our dimensional backings peeled off, and then we're going to stick this down onto our card. Just make sure your leaves don't poke over the edge of the card so it still fits in your envelope. Okay, and you can angle this wherever. You can pull it farther over here. You can pull it farther over to the other side, wherever you want to go. But there's that, and then we're going to finish it off with some of our beautiful iridescent pearls. 
So I'm going to grab one of my big ones, stick that down, and then grab my little guy and set it right next to it, just like that. And that is card number two. How beautiful is that? I do. I really do love Moody Mob and Bubble Bath together. They are so pretty. And uh, I mean, on camera, this looks more purple um, with the Moody Mob. And in real life, I would say it looks more um, pink. So, and here's the comparison. Like, that's Fresh Freesia. So you can see there, it's definitely more pink. <laughs> All right. So that's the second card. Had to take a quick drink. Let's go on to card number three. Um, I did not color the pearls, Deborah. Great question. I did not color them. You could if you have the blends. That would be very pretty. Yeah. Um, all right. This is card number three. This one, the design with these fun little um, shapes was cased and inspired by my good friend, Jamie Babarsi, um, who is a demonstrator as well. And I thought it was beautiful. So that's what we're going with for this last card. So let's take a look at this card kit. We have got a beautiful, thick, basic white card base. <laughs> um, oh, they do. They look colored on here. Well, they're, maybe it's because of the designer series paper, but yeah, they are not. They are just plain Jane. <laughs> um, you will have a piece of basic white that is embossed with the 3D emboss or the basics 3D embossing folder. Um, thanks, Deborah. You'll have both of these pieces already die cut for you. So this is that Moody Mob designer series paper in the larger shape. And then this is the Daisy one in the smaller shape. Um, Joyce, isn't it so pretty? Um, okay, so they don't closer to the camera. That's good to know. Uh, oh, thank you so much, everyone. You're, you're so kind. All right, you will also have a basic white um, label. And these three pieces were all die cut with the countryside corners dies. This is what it looks like. If you have your catalog, I don't remember what page it's on. <laughs> but it is actually part of a sweet collection. The stamp set looks like uh, old-fashioned rugs, like the rugs that my grandma had. <laughs> um, and it has the really pretty blue designer series paper that is gorgeous. I just didn't, um, I didn't love the stamps. I couldn't see myself using the stamps, so I just bought the dies. And I have loved the dies. They have been like a staple over the last month, so I've used them a ton. Okay. Thanks, Kathy. And hi, welcome. Uh, and then we've got a piece of basic white that we're going to do some stamping on. So why don't we go ahead and start with that? Let's start with our sentiment this time. So I'm pulling back in my foam mat and then my very messy scrap paper, which I don't know. Do you guys think it's time to retire this piece? I don't know. <laughs> All right. I've got my pebbled path ink here and we are going to stamp our sentiment. And of course we have to make a birthday card. So this one says, wishing you the brightest birthday, which is so cute, so sweet. And then we'll close this up so we don't make a mess. I'm going to put it away. And I'm going to put early espresso away also. There we go. Then we'll grab our basic white scrap. And we are going to use our middle little flower. And we are going to use our not cone cone flower. <laughs> um, Oh, thanks, Kathleen. Kathleen said, reminder, share the video to your timeline. I appreciate that. Um, yes, there's so much white space on this card, and I love it because it draws your eye like exactly into the focal point, right? Um, yes, Lori, it is my grandma's rugs. <laughs> Actually, I don't even remember like what my grandma's looked like, but my aunt has, or at least had, a rug very similar as well. And I can picture hers in my mind. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to stamp two of these middle littles. So again, we're going to do that Moody Mob full strength. Okay, then we're going to do one of the cone flowers. And again, remember that you've got that extra little bit that has to be stamped. Okay. Um, oh, lots of white space on my scrap paper. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, all right. There's still a lot of white space, so it's going to stay. <laughs> um, okay, I got you, Deborah. Um, all right. But still, same thing with the card. The card has lots of white space, too. All right, we've got that stamped off once, right, for our not cone cone flower. And then we've got our beautiful middle little flowers. I hope when you guys stamp these, um, you call them by the same names I do. <laughs> Uh, and I am just getting my head right over the top here. 
And there we go. So I try to look at like a spot on the bottom. And if you just go off of one area, it's probably not going to be too accurate um, because the bottom can look right and then the top isn't. So make sure you look at the top too and adjust if needed, okay? All right, then we're just using that middle, or I'm sorry, the little center and crushed curry ink. And we're going to do all of our centers using this stamp here. So go ahead and stamp that on the inside of our middle littles and right on the outside of our cone flower there. And as you die cut that cone flower more and more, you'll kind of learn where the die cuts out, I guess. Um, so it'll like, you'll know where to go. Okay. All right. Let's pull in our stamp and cut and emboss machine again and try not to spill anything. <laughs> and we'll set that down. Now we are going to have to do two rounds of cutting here again because we've got that flower twice. So we'll line it up one time. Oh, come on. This is always the fun part. There we go. Line that up once and then we'll line up our cone flower like so. And then we'll go ahead and die cut these. Okay, I just hold it with my arm and then we can funnel it through. Okay, we've got that. And then we'll uh, come here throw that cone flower in my little dish, peel off those two. Now I did not stamp or die cut any leaves or stems, which of course you can do that, but I'm kind of vis visioning it as like over the top, right? So I did not do that. Okay, then we'll die cut out this last little flower, little middle, middle little, <laughs> okay, and beautiful. Okay, we can throw that off to the side, not literally throw it. <laughs> all right, now let's go ahead and assemble. So I'm going to move all those pieces off to the side. We are going to grab our um, embossed piece. Now, this is what it looks like when it's embossed, okay? This side is like, what's it called? Debossed. So this side is like flatter, right? That's the side that got pushed in. Then this one is like it's got more texture because it's the side that got pushed out. So you can decide which side is on top, okay? They're going to look the same, but you decide. So on this card, I, I did the opposite. On this one, I'm doing the embossed side up. Oh, golly. <laughs> uh, I'm doing the embossed side up on this card. On the other one, I did the debossed side up. Now, what happened there was I pressed down way too hard with my seal and my paper got mad at me. <laughs> So we're going to try that again. Remember, light hand, okay? Light touch. And then you won't have problems. <laughs> um, all right, let's go ahead. And this is going to cover our entire card front here. So I've got that lined up with my score line on the left. And then I just go ahead and push that down. We can fold and uh, burnish. And I burnish on the back side so I don't, I don't push any of that embossing down, which I don't know that that would actually happen, but I don't know. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> then let's add some seal to our larger piece of designer series paper. And we can adhere that down onto our card. So I'm putting this one closer to the left hand side. This one here, we are going to add dimensionals to the back. Okay, I've got three left on this sheet. Look at that beautiful, beautiful time for a new sheet of dimensionals. I love that. <laughs> okay, so we've got these. Then we've got our new sheet. And, you know, for good measure, we're going to put two in the middle just because, just because we can. <laughs> okay, peel off all of these backings. And then we're going to go ahead and stick this down to our card over to the right. So you can see here it's centered horizontally, right? I've got the same ish margin on the right and the left, and the top and the bottom but it's different elements, which is pretty cool. So we've got that. Now we're going to add our sentiment. Now, again, I'm gonna flip it this way and we are going to add it up a layer. So we need to single dimensional the right-hand side, whoops, and double dimensional the left-hand side, okay? I've got adhesive on my fingernail. Um, okay, so we've got that and we can peel off those backings and stick that down. 
Okay, then I'm going to take one of these. So whichever, oh, that's funny. You guys, nobody caught me. On this one, I did one middle little and two cone flowers. <laughs> and on this card that I'm putting together now, I did two middle littles. That's okay. You can use whatever flowers you want. Okay, so one of them, pick whichever one looks worse. <laughs> and add some seal on the back. And then we're going to tuck that in under the sentiment and the designer series paper okay then we're going to we're going to make this one go over here i'll probably add it i want it to be a little cockeyed so maybe like this and so this one we can add a dimensional to and this one's going to be same level as our sentiment so just one dimensional works and we'll stick that down Again, just make sure it doesn't peek over the top there. Now this one, I want to be the same height as our sentiment also. But if you recall, this one... Oh, Deborah, you did notice it? That's funny. <laughs> I was just stamping too fast, you know, whatever. <laughs> so this one, if you recall, is already got that dimensional up on the DSP and then on here, okay? So it's already sitting raised on here, which is why I only needed one dimensional. However, my cone flower needs two dimensionals to match the height of the sentiment on the left hand side. Okay, so we can use regular dimensionals again, but we're going to put it maybe a little bit closer to the other side. Right. And then we'll double that. Okay. And then we can go ahead and stick this down and just make sure you uh, don't cover up your words. So just kind of like maneuver it to where you like. Just like that. Beautiful, right? All right, then let's finish this card off with some more iridescent pearls. So we're going to add a big one right there, and then we'll put a little one kind of in line with it right there. And that is card number three. How pretty is that one too? Okay, so let me pull in all of our cards that are part of the Cheerful Daisy class to go. Here's all six of them. Um, I, oh, thanks. Thanks, Deborah. That's so nice of you, too. Um, you guys are so kind today. <laughs> well, every day, but especially today. Um, so, yeah. So, these are the six cards that you can get this week. If you place an order in my online store of $35 or more before tax and shipping, you'll get the six card kits for free. So, um, just like I did when we were stamping and I was pulling them out of the envelopes, that's what you'll get, but you'll get enough supplies to make two of each card. Um, that includes the cardstock, the designer series paper, and then any die cuts that aren't part of our beautiful featured bundle okay um so like this circle here that will be included for you and then these pieces here okay um so a 50 dollars order before tax and shipping will also get a pack of these iridescent pearls and both order amounts you do get the detailed pdf instructions that includes measurements um, written instructions in case that's how you learn better uh, and then also all of the supplies that i use so you can make more of these cards Maybe even with different colors. That would be so pretty. I want to make this one again in that boho blue color. <laughs> um, okay. I think that that is all, except that I told you I would tell you about the dog hair because um, I see more of it here. So let me tell you about that real quick. Um, today, I had to run over to my sister's house because if you guys... Um, let me start here. So yesterday I sent out a different kind of email newsletter where I put a month at a, at a glance calendar in there, which had all of my planned um, classes and schedule for my live videos. And um, in that, I put out that I am going on the Stampin' Up! incentive trip later this month, which I'm so excited for. And you guys are so awesome. Um, and so we're going to Europe and we needed foreign currency. Um, and long story short, my sister had to order it for us. <laughs> uh, and so during my lunch break today, I ran over to her house because it had to be signed for and everything. And uh, of course, I got to cuddle my cute doggy niece because she's so cute. And so how could I resist it? Right. Right. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I am covered in her fur because she would not leave my side. So <laughs> anyway, she's the cutest. She's so cute. I'll put a picture out on Instagram, too, so you can see it in my story there. But anyway, that's what I've got for you this week. Um, thanks so much, everyone. You're so nice. Thanks, Anne. Thanks, Deborah. Um, yeah. So in a few weeks, I'll just mention this. I will be live again next week. 
and then I will be live the week after. Okay. So the next two weeks you'll get me. Um, and then I'll be gone for about two weeks. So just keep that in mind. Um, during that time, I put it in my newsletter as well. Um, during that time, I won't be, I, I'm going to just put it out there that I won't be checking emails and messages. Hopefully I'll be able to check here and there, but I also totally want to enjoy the time. Like being on vacation. So <laughs> just know that I'm not ignoring you. Okay. I promise I'm not ignoring you and I will get back to you as soon as I can. But anyway, if you have any questions about this week's class to go, please let me know. Um, oh, okay. Eva asked a great question here real quick. She said, what is the catalog party? Um, so Eva, I'm doing an annual catalog party. Uh, the live video is next week. So I just closed my registration for the, oh, thanks Deborah. Um, I just closed my registration for the physical box yesterday, um, but you're in Canada anyway, so you couldn't get it. <laughs> um, and I will be opening up virtual registration here this week. So you can join us virtually, which would give you access to the PDFs, the sketch templates that we're using, the one sheet wonder, um, and all of my samples in the live party itself. So uh, you are more than welcome to register for that. Uh, make sure you're on my email newsletter at newsletter.stampwithmelissa.com. Uh, to join in the fun there. Okay. Uh, okay. Thanks to everyone so much. I think that's it. And I will catch you all next week. Bye for now.